We're not holding back on the chicken front in there, are we? Let's face it. This video is brought to you by CP Packaging, the UK's number one packaging supplier. If you're bored or fed up with your existing boring packaging and want to level up your game, go and check them out. CP Packaging, bless up. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Food Review Club. We're back in London, and I'm very excited for this, Callum. We've had a, got a notoriously rocky road with chicken shops. Your boss man chicken shop. So I'm here at Sam's. Heard great things. I actually saw Sam's on John the Food Don's TikTok. Looks cool. I went in clean, which is a big thing for a chicken shop. <laughs> Most of them are not clean. Looks good. Menu's very comprehensive. Price points bang on. Come to my receipt in a second. What did I get? This is where it hots up. I've gone for the Devil's Box Mill. Massive bag of chips. Jesus Christ. Come on, Philip Burger. Wings. Here we go. Come on, people. I thought it was all going to be in the box. That's what I thought. Got a fuck off massive bag of chips with it. Biggest Just bag of how chips I like it. it. Right, and then. This is where it gets really good. <laughs> Oh. Bucket of chicken wings. This is what it's all about. I've got myself a bucket of Perry wings. 20 wings. They look good, don't they? Yeah, they do look good. Wing lovers. What are you saying? Let's get on the main eventually. Mm. Now, Callum, all of this came to 1949. Oh. But, we do quick maths. <laughs> uh, nine, 10, 11, 11 pound 50 of that was the bucket of wings. I don't want to smash through those. 7 99 for the Devil's Box Mill. Not bad at all. Now, as I was saying, first impressions were very good. Very, very good indeed. The, the only thing that immediately annoyed me about it was the terrible drink selection. 7-Up, mm. Pepsi Max, cream soda, two fruit shoots. That was it. What, maybe like water. We had no Fanta. We had, I know, no Fantas, Dr. Peppers, uh, and then no Rios, Lilts, Iron Brews, the sort of things that go well with this stuff. But I'm not gonna hold it against them too much to start with. Let's get into it. Start off with the chips. Forgive me, but these look like some of the best chicken shop chips. Big, fat, crisp. I don't know if it was the time of day, it's all been cooked fresh. None of that sitting around in the hot plate, getting all disgusting. Wings, look like they're fresh out of the fryer, don't they? Yeah. Look like they're fresh. Mmm. Nice flavor, slight cayenne in there. That's awesome, bro. There is a market for boss man chicken chops. Fact, fried chicken is one of my favorite meals you can get as a takeaway. The problem is, so many people murder it. They don't respect the game. Leaving food in the hot plate for three days. Mm. Chicken has been there since Wednesday. Last Wednesday. Chips are bang on point. A chicken wing? No, no, no one. <laughs> look at that, look. Nice size. Not too much standing oil. Juicy. Now, burger time. First impressions. Nicely wrapped. Nicely wrapped. Got good food coming out of a clean shop. Branding's on point. Size of that, not particularly huge, but for the price, we'll take it. So I've got chicken, cheese, lettuce, mayo. We're not holding back on the chicken front in there, are we? Let's face it. That looks good. Small bun. Let's go. We've got lashings of mayo in there, bruv. Lashings of mayo. The cheese works wonders. The chicken, not too dry. If you do ever get dry chicken in a burger, it's game over. Dead. Kills it. Finished. Bun's a bit flat, but... 
I'm just happy with everything I've had so far. Finally, a reliable boss man chicken drop. Drink watch. Let's go. That's terrible. Let's do that again. Ready? Cream soda, nice and cold. Perfect to wash this down with, bruv. That's nice. Yeah. That's good. Really good drink. Well, look, I suppose if you're watching this and you know some other chicken shops are actually decent in London, let us know. I think for too long we've gone to these terrible ones. It really does, it's really not good. It's like not even drunk food anymore. Like even the rats on the street don't want it. This is proper, proper stuff now. Here we go, bruv. Wing lovers, what are you saying? What are you saying? So this is a special they got on. 10, 11 quid for a bucket of 20 wings. Good price. It's value, isn't it? The same as before, but naked. Look like the same size. It's the Perry. Perry flavour. Here we go. Yeah, I love it. Something about a Perry wing at this price point that fills the f gap. I can tell you now, those box meals and menu variety. What's going on in there? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, bro, here he is. Hey, man. I'm happy with this, by the way. You happy with this, yeah? yeah? We're it's getting there. Best bus man in London. <laughs> by a country mile. <laughs> I, I, I don't think you're far wrong, to be honest, man. To be honest, that if anyone knows fried chicken, it's the done. Come on, man, so. <laughs> trust them? Well, I want to trust them. We've got some, uh, got some action going on in the uh, phone box behind us. He's struggling. This is going hard, man. Yeah. Oh. You went for the Perry. It was nice. Why not the fried? Did you get the I've fried? got fried as well. Who's you still got the fried? Well, nice. You're all fresh. Mate, always fresh to death. Always fresh to death. This is why I come to Sam's. My favourite boss man since I was 12 years old. Why? The food is always on point. It's not sitting in the hot holding area for up to an hour. That. You know? Look, we got some bad experiences with the boss man stuff. It's because the way they hold the For food. days, bruv, not hours. It's for days, some of them. Certain times they don't even change the bread in for about a week. It's bad, isn't it? Bad. I like the I like the grill. But I'm a I'm a fried guy. Yeah. I love the fried. I like both. So I tried one of the other ones. Also, good value for a big box like this. How much you pay? 11 50 I think this was. For 20 wings. Yeah, 50p a wing. I said, I said, can't really go wrong. Can't really go wrong. But I'm gonna go and get some fried. So. Were well, you just swinging him? I'm gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Sweet, bro. Happy, happy coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's one gig. That's sick to see, John. That's the fellow I was telling you about earlier. I texted him to say I was coming, around the corner. Well nice to have him on the page. Um, like I said earlier, go and check out his TikTok. Sick fella. Co his content is literally fire. Right, here's my concluding thoughts about Sam's. It tasted fresh. It tasted good. Plenty of flavor, good value. For eight quid, you're gonna be leaving Sam's feeling content and happy. This is what fried chicken shops should be doing. Fresh, sexy chicken. Such an easy product, murdered by so many places in and around London and the rest of the UK. That's why it's so impressive to come here today and try this, because it's decent. My score is gonna reflect that. It knows where it sits in the market. For me, this is gonna be a, like an 8.4. Okay. Good score. 8.4 Sam's, bless up. Well impressed. Anyway, it's an absolute pleasure to be back in London doing our thing. People licking your lips, checking the dips. We're checking out the best of the bunch so you can get your best breakfast, dinner, or lunch. It's Matt D and Jess coming with the food review. We've been traveling, trying to find the best foods for you. Yeah, now that's a review.